Hello my beautiful Nicolettes, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new, and if you are new, it would mean so much to me if you guys hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell to be notified every single time I upload before you leave. But today's video, how to still look super fashionable but not break the bank. And fun fact, I am actually a huge bargain shopper, I love finding my good deals, and I truly believe that you could still look amazing and still look high fashion without breaking the bank because let me tell you you can find designers or even just other pieces for such affordable prices if you just look out for them I'll also link my fashion playlist in the description box and as well as I will link my Instagram because I post a ton of fashion outfits on there and it would mean so much if you guys follow me over on there but I hope you guys enjoy and let's just jump into the tips Tip number one is to shop off season. If you pay attention, you'll notice that winter clothes become more affordable when warmer weather's coming and vice versa. So when colder weather's coming, that is when summer pieces are much more affordable. So something I like to do is always buy off season. And sometimes you could say, well, how about if it's not trendy next season? Stick to things that are more timeless and classic so that you're always on trend no matter what year it is so buying things such as a peak coat or a trench coat or some good quality jeans and things like that are really great to get when it's off season because they're things that are always going to be in and you're going to get it for a much more discounted price than if you buy it right when it comes out during the right season. Tip number two is to Google your favorite trends. If you Google something that you're really into, whether that is a certain piece of item, whether it's like a jean jacket or ankle boots or something like that, Google searches show you a huge range of the piece that you're looking for, for from very affordable to more pricey. This is especially great when you do know what kind of piece you want, whether it's a certain trend that's out and you've seen it everywhere and you just wanna pick it up. It's better to just Google it as opposed to going right away into the malls because Google, like I said, it's just going to show you all the options and show you all the different price ranges and that's a lot easier to find your budget when you have so many options available to you. Tip number three is to make smart purchases. So it's really important that you exercise control over temptation. Make sure before you buy something it's planned ahead as opposed to more just buying it off of impulse. I find a lot of the times when we do buy things off of impulse we kind of get over it after a while and then we regret kind of buying it. There's been so many times where I've kind of bought impulse purchases such as like really trendy pieces and a couple months it's just not even in and I wonder why I wasted my money on that. And also what's important is make sure that you're buying things that you know you're going to wear more than once that it's not just a one-time thing so something I like to do is when I am shopping I like to come up with three different ways to style an outfit so that I know it's really going to be versatile in my closet and it's not just something that I'm gonna wear one time and just never look at again when you are in shopping around just try and think of different outfits on how you can style it and try and think how much are you really going to wear it is it just going to be a one-time thing or is this going to be a constant piece that you're gonna get your money's worth out of the piece. Tip number four is to pay attention to price changes at your favorite stores. We all know about really big deals such as like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all of the different deals throughout the years. These are obviously the times when it's better to go shopping. Back to school season, they have really great deals near then. They have great deals after Christmas. Um, for Canadians, we call it Boxing Day. Knowing when your stores have sales is obviously a better time to shop it. And if you just wait it out a little bit, a lot of the times the people that you were looking at is going to go on sale and it's just so much better to get it at a discounted price and another tip is that a lot of stores put sales on when new inventory is coming into their store so making trying to figure out when stores kind of restock and bring in new inventory because that's a really great time that they usually bring out deals so the longer you wait the better the deal is going to be there's been so many times where I like a piece and I'll come back a little bit later and that piece is on sale and sometimes things go on sale even more so when it says like final price that is the perfect time to grab it because it's obviously not gonna go more discounted I know for example like I love shopping at Zara and I believe they're still currently having their winter sale and last year when I was shopping there the longer you waited I noticed the sales kept going cheaper and cheaper and cheaper I'm trying to resist it if it is a piece that you cannot live without and you just want it now of course the piece might sell out unfortunately but 
but I always just recommend kind of just waiting it out because you're just gonna get such a better deal. So tip number five is to find fashion broker or discount sites. There's so many things when it comes to this. The first thing is if you do want more designer high-end pieces but you don't really have the budget to buy, go out and buy like a Gucci purse for $2,000 or $3,000, then there is still ways that you can get those higher end labels but without spending a hefty amount of money. So find stores that have higher end designers at cheaper costs. And I am a huge shopper at stores like Marshalls and Winners. So a lot of you asked in one of my videos when I mentioned Winners. Winners is kind of like a sister store to Marshalls. So if you live in the States, you definitely know Marshalls. But Winners is very similar and it's a Canadian store and we didn't used to have Marshalls. Marshalls just recently came to Canada, but I always shopped first at Winners because that was kind of like our Marshalls. And I definitely recommend shopping at Winners and Marshalls because they both have amazing deals. And I'm gonna share with you one piece I found at Winners and one piece that I found at Marshalls that was an extremely amazing deal for a high-end brand. So the first thing I actually found are these pair of running shoes. I've worn the crap out of them since I've gotten them, so they're not in perfect condition right now. I actually found these running shoes at Winners, and they are Valentino, which is a super high-end brand. These shoes retail for around seven to $800, and I got them at Winners for $150, which is such a steal. Obviously, you can find shoes that are cheaper at winners like Nikes for under 100 and stuff like that but I just couldn't pass up this deal. When I saw them, I ran to them and I couldn't resist. And there was only one left in my size, so it was just meant to be. That is unfortunately the only negative towards stores like Marshalls and Winners. They're not gonna have a lot of one item, especially when it's designers, they go quick. So you always need to be looking and searching and I'm always there, so I love finding cool pieces that are really great deals and brand names. This next piece is from Marshalls and I actually left the tag on this one so I could show you guys the shoes. I just couldn't resist. I had to wear them when I got them. I got them, I feel like, a couple months ago. But this piece I got a little bit after. This is just a Marc Jacobs blazer. And the regular tag of the blazer is on it that you would find if you purchased it from the store. And it retails for $400 $78. I got this piece for $78 on sale. So Marshalls were selling it for $130 and I got this for $78. So once again, $478 to $78 is such a steal. You're getting $400 off and you still have that brand name. And I really like this piece because it's a blazer and I feel like a blazer is a staple in a wardrobe. You can still get high-end brands for a much discounted price if you know where to shop at. I know also in the States they have TJ Maxx, which is also a really great store. Whenever I am in the States, I always go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx. They have really good discounted brand names as well. They also have websites that are really great for finding designer pieces for discount, including websites like Thread Up, which is gently used designer brands. I've gotten pieces from them and it is amazing. A lot of their pieces are brand new or gently used. They have a whole system to, they verify to make sure that but it's pretty much brand new. They don't want it to be like old or anything like that. So they're really picky with the pieces they do take. And also another store is Hope Look. I believe that's how you say it. Sometimes they have really good brand names on discount there. So I will link the information down below of anything I talk about just if you guys are interested. But those are also some really great online stores that you can also find discounted brands for. Tip number six is to invest more on props. Things such as a purse or a leather jacket or sunglasses or some or shoes, something like that because this is really going to make your outfit pop. You could have just a really basic outfit and if you have a little prop, it's just going to make your outfit look a little bit more expensive. Tip number seven is to sign up for emails and also cashback sites. Pretty much every website that you go online to any store, you can put in your email and it will give you a discount code right away. 
or it will also send you emails when they're going to have their deals on their site. So it's always great to do just if you want the extra discount or if you want to keep up when your favorite stores are going to have deals because they'll usually send you emails with the deal that they're having. Sometimes they even have like flash deals for only one day. So that's also really great to keep up with that because those are usually really great deals. And cashback sites, I just recently started getting into these sites and I started using it near Christmas time for some of the Christmas presents I bought online. And this is not sponsored, but I actually used Ebates. Ebates is pretty much a cash back site and you pretty much shop online. You could shop at like Sephora, I shopped at Sport Check. You could shop literally so many stores and when you buy your purchase online, you're going to get money back. And the money goes automatically for me I put my uh, PayPal, I believe, so right when I bought my purchase online, I got money back in my PayPal right away. So it's not like you have to wait until you accumulate a certain amount of money. It will automatically just go into your PayPal once you make that purchase. So anytime you're shopping online, just do cash back. I will link my Ebates link down below for you guys, but I definitely recommend Ebates just because sometimes also they have like double cash back, which means you're gonna make even more money back. So if you're already gonna buy an item anyways, might as well get some money back from that item. And the last tip I have for you is thrift shopping. I actually uploaded my first thrifting video. I will link it down below and also on the top here. If you guys want me to do more, let me know because I had so much fun thrift shopping. But thrift shopping is super popular right now and it's also a really great way to find pieces that are really affordable. Of course they are used, but you can find really gently used items for super cheap. If you keep going shopping, you can find some amazing deals and brands as well. For thrift shopping, there's places like Valley Village, there's Salvation Army and those kind of places, but they also have places like Plato's Closet, which is a little bit more money than Value Village, but Plato's Closet it has more like pretty much all designer brand names and it's just a very lightly used clothes while I find value village will have you'll find the odd piece of being a designer and then you'll find kind of random brands so Plato's closet is a little bit more pickier and it has a lot more designers in it so if you want to look for more designer pieces on discount and you want a super discount find a Plato's closet near where you live because that's a really great store as well but those are all of my tips and tricks on how how to slay on a budget broke girl problems because I definitely know I like to save money where I can and you can still look cute and not have to break your bank and don't forget to click the subscribe button to join the family it means so much to me and so you're notified every single time I upload make sure you guys go to my channel and click that bell so it notifies you when I do upload but I hope you guys are having an amazing day evening or night whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye